Pat with Pat's Two Cents. Now, many of us have encountered demons. Some talk about it, some keep it on the down low. But what I want to share with you is the arsenal we have. Now, in this video, you're going to hear two or three stories of demonic encounters and how they were gotten rid of because they can be shooed just like swatting a fly. But I want you to hear the details. So you have to listen to the whole video from beginning to end. And you will be surprised at the many ways we can combat, confront, and defeat demons. Listen to these stories. Okay, this is Rashad's dream. I just had a dream that I was at the establishment that had different rooms. And in each room, there were a lot of teenagers like kids or just people in general. And they all had some type of spirit in them. And what I would do was I would tell them, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And every time I would do that, each crowd would stop in their tracks and would get out of the building running. Not just running, but they were being on they were being detangled you know disengaged uh uh i'm trying to think of another word to say it they were being released from the entanglement they were in from the control of whatever spirit that was controlling them at the time i noticed when i first did it to the first group of people i remembered saying to myself man i've gotten stronger as i went through the entire building every single time I said those words to those groups of people. It was like 40 or 50 people per room. They would stop and go running out of the building. I did it until I did the entire building thoroughly. And then I woke up. It was so encouraging. I just wanted to read that because sometimes the spiritual warfare we're going through is either a form of harassment a form of discouragement to make us quit, a form of intimidation to make us too afraid to engage, too afraid to engage the enemy, or a form of distraction, something to just keep us so wired, so nervous, so uptight. Now, I went through a demonic thing last night and I knew it was gonna start. I could already tell it was getting started. The way it got started was I closed my eyes. I started to doze off. And as I dozed off, I, I was dreaming that I could see a tall figure in thick black clothing. Uh, I couldn't see the head because it was too tall. It was almost tall enough for its head to penetrate the ceiling. And I knew when I opened my eyes, I, I willfully woke myself up. I knew I was seeing a demon. And I knew the Lord was showing me that a demon was lurking somewhere, getting ready to attack. So I did my rebuking and I took authority and all that. And then I fell back asleep. Well, every time I dozed off and willed myself awake and dozed off and willed myself awake, I was being harassed by demons. And I said, okay. I think what that first indication was, the image of the person being so tall, was that these were going to be powerful demons that were going to be hard to get rid of. So instead of going through, all, through that all night, what I did was I got up out of the bed, turned my computer on, clicked on one page that played the word too low for me to hear, but I knew the demons could hear it loud and clear, and then played the Handel's Messiah, and played that. I have three of them back to back. So that's like six, seven or eight hours worth of nonstop music on my playlist. I played that a little louder so it would be comforting for me to sleep by. My dreams were totally godly from that point on. Totally God. That totally got rid of it. If you can't, if the rebuking doesn't get it, God's word will. If God's, if they're that stubborn and you got to fight through God's word, praising God. So this was a combination of God's word and praising God 
working together while I slept like a baby. And that ended that. That ended that dead in his tracks. Now, I'm going to turn this on real quick to see what you guys have to say about that. And then I'm going to get right into the word. All participants are unmuted. Okay. Did you guys hear wow. that? Wow. That's no, so I'm cool. with you on that. I, yeah, that's deep. Especially when you said how you got rid of them. The yep. word of God and praise him. That's yes. It. That was it right there. Yes. Yes. The word of God and praise him. Yeah, the 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 that worked up in prayer is crazy and powerful. I know, I know. God taught me that years ago when I was rebuking a demon that came in my house in the dream, and she said, "I'll go when I get good and ready to go." And something came over me, and the wind was whipping like a tornado, and I knew God's presence was with me, and I knew the angels were in my house. And I rose up from the floor, stretched my arms out, and started praising God at the top of my lungs. And when I saw her cover her ears in agony, I willfully lowered myself to the ground, walked over to her. And trust me, you can never overpower a demon physically unless God is backing you in that. And when I grabbed her by the shoulders, I said, you're going to hear God's praises until I say you go. And you will go when I tell you to go. And I praise God all in her face. And, and I mean, I did it over and over and over. And then when I was done tormenting her, I said, now get the heck out of my house. And I let it go. And whew, she was gone. She was out like a bat out of you know where. And that was the end of that. Now, and what that, kind of demon was that? Did you know what type of demon that was or what? No, I don't know what type, but God was teaching me how to deal with some of the most stubborn demons. And that there are like three or four types of spiritual warfare. One, you rebuke wow. it in the name of Jesus. Two, you resist the devil and he will flee. Three, <laughs> you read the word at it. Four, you praise God. Mm -hmm. Good lesson. Yes, very good lesson. Was this a dream or does this actually was this actually something happening? I knew it was happening, but it was in a dream form. But God showed me it was a reality. There are times when you dream about demons and you dream about God's power, and to you it's a dream, but it really is happening. But in this dream I knew it was real. And the reason is I had never been in a tornado in my life. But the sound of that wind whipping in my living room was so loud. But guess what? Nothing was moving in my house. That's how I knew it was God. Hmm. I knew the wind was the presence of God. I knew the roar of the wind was him, his power, his authoritative backing for me. And I, I felt the presence of angels around me. I knew I was surrounded by heavenly reinforcement. I felt it all in my being, especially when, when I felt it immediately after I felt it and recognized it for what it was, I left the ground and I hovered over the ground by about a foot and my body went immediately into the cross position. And that's when I instinctively, without even thinking about it, just started praising God at the top of my lungs. And that's when the demon was in torment. And they can't stand it when you say Jesus and uh -huh. say his name. And you praise and him you and glorify. Ooh, they hate it. And praise confounds yeah. the enemy yeah. too. It confuses them. Yeah, I know. That's why I love the story of Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 17 to 22. And when he had, he said, you shall not need to fight in this battle. Take your position. Stand still and see the deliverance of the Lord who is with you, O Judea and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord is with you. And then Joseph had bowed his head with his face to the ground. And all Judea and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell down before the Lord, worshiping him. And some Levites and of the Tobasites and Hathorites stood up to praise the Lord the God of Israel, with a very loud voice. And they rose early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of the Kaha. And as they went out, Joseph had stood and said, Hear me, O Judea, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe 
and remain steadfast to his prophet, and you shall prosper. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers to sing to the Lord and praise him in the holy priestly garments as they went out before the army, saying, Give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and love and kindness endure forever. And when they began to sing and praise the Lord, set ambushments against the men of Ammon, Moab, Mount Seir, who had come against Judea, and they were self-slaughtered. <laughs> right. I do too. Thank I love it, baby. Thank you. Yeah, I, I love, love that. That's that's the lesson to us. It. That's one of the forms of spiritual warfare. Praising God. That's right. They're all slaughtered. Yeah. All slaughtered. yeah. In other words, said, it oh, confounds the enemy and they're killing each other. They're killing each other, y'all. God will fight our battle. Yes, he will. Mm-hmm.